PPP Post Pandemic Poem Our world overnight turned upside down Enforced suffocation of city and town Hospitality's smile turned on its head Replaced by warning posters instead Stand on the markings, stay six feet apart Please use the hand gel, pull up your mask I told you once, stand behind the lines Offenders are subject to on-spot fines. Wait your turn and, sir, please keep your distance. Rudeness is not tolerated. I'll ring for assistance. And the cruel wind whistled down deserted streets. We're all in this together, so say the elites. A million playground swings unswung, a billion Christmas songs unsung, a haunting silence rather than peace, shattered with drive-bys from zealous police, for the siren call, the voice of authority, has a soporific effect on the vast majority. We hummed happy birthday not once, but twice. We scrubbed and we masked and we sanitised, surveilled by the state, Grasped on by next door, things must improve in a week or more. Managed and monitored, wherever we go. Fluorescent wardens to keep us in tow. Permanent tenterhooks, badly frayed nerves. Only two weeks to flatten the curve. Stay in, an order from Mutton Jeff, for he is blind to your woes as well as deaf. Twice weekly parcels from DPD, a desperate glimpse of how things might be. Our living rooms turned prison cell, trapped in a loop of Netflix hell. Welcome to the state of permanent fear. We crave the pub for contact, not for beer. Businesses failing, mothers dying alone, pandemic chimes on your mobile phone. We're all in this together, that's what they said. Together, not by your mother's bed. And the cruel wind whistled down deserted streets. We're all in this together, so say the elites. But while we reheated our ready meals, ministers made unscrupulous deals in exchange for promises forged in hell. Oh, how far the mighty fell. Boris embraced the charms of Big Pharma, unsavaged by the sheep that is Sir Keir Starmer. Educated clowns, turned on by legislation. Nothing but an orgy of elitist masturbation. They see the world through a corrupted lens. Lucrative contracts with old school friends, while the green monster grinned through guilty teeth, for abstinence is his hand relief. Innate corruption, that is the virus. Not one of those bastards even tried to inspire us or made an attempt to understand. It's hard-working people that run this land. The needle, it jumped from freedom to control. All for the greater good, we were told. Ridiculous rules for the greater good while the great and good laughed like only they could. Keep your face covered, whatever you're doing. You can lower it slightly, but only when chewing. Draconian measures with simply one aim, the face of humanity must be covered in shame. Egged on by a salivating, salacious press, apocalyptic predictions to heighten distress. But while locked in your homemade penitentiary, ministers dance like the birth of the century. Glorious spreads of cheese and wine, they partied like it was 1999. They shouted above the music, they laughed and they joked, they scoffed and they drank and they karaoke They ordered curries, suitcases of champagne. No time to feel guilt, no need to explain. And the cruel wind whistled down deserted streets. We're all in this together, so say the elites. 
So the road to hell is not paved with good intention. Something the elite forgot to mention, a symptom of power or political curse. But they spaffed away billions from the public purse, as if in a rush for economic decline, hoisting petards of their own design. No, the road to hell is paved with your tax. Just another of those revelatory facts, both indigestible and hard to swallow, now that our hearts are collectively hollow. But we hold our grudges close, and quite discreetly, time does heal, though never completely. Scared and scarred is the legacy of the twenties. Homo trepidatious is emotionally empty. So as the blood returns to our brow-beaten towns, a hubbub is heard, a beautiful sound reminiscent of pre-pandemic days, but damaged in so many ways. With brushed off hurt and dented pride, we now know the state is not on our side. For these are our towns, our streets, our stores. Just leave us alone. This is our land, not yours.